What is up everybody? Welcome to the video. It's been a minute, but it's been a little bit hectic here and this is the reason why. Dog sitting for Mean Jean's daughter. This is Cora. She's about four months and a maniac. Um, trying to adjust to this new life. Thankfully it's not gonna be forever because it's a lot of work. Trust me, it's a lot of work. I never remembered Lucy being this chaotic, I guess different breeds and stuff, whatever. I don't know. But anyway, I've got to wear these two out so that I can actually get some stuff done. So we're going to go to the dog park because ticks on the hikes are just ridiculous. We've been hiking quite a lot, which has been amazing because the dogs have loved it. It's good for Cora to uh, be off the lead and uh, I don't know, just learn in her as much as I can. But the ticks are just ridiculous. And because Cora is so dark and her fur is a lot longer than Lucy's, it's really difficult to find them. And then of course they've had their flea and tick medicine so the ticks drop off and then find them all over the house. I do not need Lyme disease. Or as the Yanks call me a limey bastard anyway, whatever. So we're gonna go to the dog park, get this over with so I can get some music done. And I've got a few life updates to talk about. Um, one I'm extremely nervous about, but also very excited. And uh, yeah, anyway, let's get on with it. You ready? Let's go. Come on. So it was just a quick win at the park. I say quick, it was probably about 30 minutes and uh, hopefully it's gonna be enough to wear them out. However, I'm not sure if you can hear this, but it happens every single time. They come back and they start pissing around. Relax, it's time to not do much. I got things to do, people to do, and you're out here messing about. Don't let the innocence of these faces, or at least the one on the left, fool you. Absolute lunatics. <sighs> anyway, I got something to tell you. Let me go upstairs where it's a bit more quiet. All right, everybody is where they should be. I feel like I'm delaying what I'm gonna say right now. <laughs> I, I just come out of it. I'm fucking, I'm going home, mate. I'm going back to England. Uh, not for good, <laughs> although before I finish my sentence, whenever I tell people that I'm going home, they're like, what for good? I'm like, you gotta be kidding. I didn't come this far to only come this far, remember? I keep saying that in every effing video, it seems. Um, but California's my home now. I'm in this really weird transitional stage right now, like, this is my home, California's my home, but England's where I'm from. That's that's how I'm seeing it now. Um, whereas before it was really weird as like a, a, like a juggling act of, I'm going home, oh, but I'm going home. And then people are like, well, which home, California or England? So I've kind of made a, a definitive decision to say that England's where I'm from, California's my home, but I'm going back to visit everybody at home. Now, I haven't been home for almost six years and I haven't seen anybody in almost six years. However, my, my sister and a mutual mate, Claire, came over uh, in November, which was amazing. Insert clips of me losing my shit at the airport when I saw her. And uh, it's gonna be amazing to see my family and my friends, but also I'm, I'm terrified. I'm really anxious about seeing everybody and I don't know what it is. I, I, I just can't put it into words why I'm so nervous. Um, I'm worried that I've changed because I know I've changed. This version of myself is is so different to what it was when I left because a lot happened to me since I've been here and, and it's completely changed me as a person. And that's all right, you know, I've grown from it, I've learned from it and I won't be making those same mistakes again, but it's also changed how I view my life, people, relationships and stuff like that. 
But I just worry that my mates that I've known for over 25 years, that it's not going to be the same. And it's not going to be the same. See, this is this is where I'm, I'm going. This is where I'm getting really confused about how I feel about it. But then, you know, you've got those mates that you've known forever. And it could be eight or nine years that, that you haven't seen each other. And the moment you see each other, it's like a day hasn't passed. And I really believe that those those mates are few and far between, but they're the uh, the MVPs of of my life. So uh, I could list these people, but I'm not going to. You know, it's not fair. But also my parents. Oh my God! So I FaceTime my parents, and Mum, I'm sorry, <laughs> Dad, he, he could care less. But whenever I see my my parents on FaceTime, I forget that. Everybody's moved on, everybody's aging, everyone's getting older, I'm getting older, but it, it's really weird. And let me know if anybody else has felt this way before, that you, f you've, you move away from somewhere and you feel like time stops where you're from. But anyway, it's just difficult to see my parents getting so old when I see them. And I just feel like I've, I've missed a lot of years with them that I'll never get back. And that's fine, people move away and get older and Jesus Christ, I'm old enough to uh, to not deal with it. But it doesn't matter how old you get, you still need your mum and dad sometimes, I feel. I'll never forget, and I had this recorded, I went home, so I came here December 2016 and I went back home to visit December 2017. And the only people that knew were James Brown and my sister. Um, and I surprised my parents and I promised my mum this time I would never do I would never do it again So uh, check this video out. This is this is what happened the last time I came home and uh, I'm not crying you're crying Merry Christmas. Oh God, <laughs> What are you doing here? So yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting back. Um, I can only go for nine days, so um, just work, you know, if, if I don't work, I don't get paid, it's as simple as that. And um, I've got a life here, I've got a dog, <laughs> I've got things going on, um, but it's going to be absolutely amazing. Oh, and the other thing, right? So check this out, one of my best friends in the entire world, Craig Carlin, he was my friend in high school when I was an exchange student. It just so happens that he's gonna be in England the same week that I am, um, and he's taking his family because his daughter's graduating and it's a graduation present for her. So I haven't seen Craig. Now he's the MVP I was telling you about earlier, just one of a few. And uh, we're gonna make it a point. I think we're either gonna meet up in Bath or Oxford. We've gotta get on a phone call to, uh, to talk it through and figure out when we're gonna meet up. But that's gonna be amazing. Fuck. Yeah. Anyway, what else has been going on? Um, other than looking after the dog and doing all that other stuff and trying to get a new, um, a new schedule, a new routine, uh, because it's a bit disruptive. Um, I've really, really concentrated on music. I was good. But I want to be fucking great. I want to be so good at it. And, and I want to understand every aspect of it. And I talked about this in an interview I had with Justin Groth when I was um, on his podcast. And, and that's, that's what I've been doing. Since then, I've just been studying my tits off and I've really enjoyed it. I think I mentioned it in my previous video as well. I've just been wanting to understand frequency spectrums and mixing and mastering techniques and and i mean it's it's one thing do this to get this but it's it's another to understand why you're doing it and i think that makes a difference between a good producer and a great producer so so that's it that's what i'm doing um and this week's been a little bit weird because i'm i'm concentrating on the inevitable going home thing and 
I feel like I'm, my head's in the clouds a little bit. I've got to start packing and, and doing all this other stuff. So I've been really, really preoccupied with music, the dog, and thinking about going home. So yeah, that was it. It's just a quick life update. Things have been moving pretty fast um, in some respects, but I can't wait to see everybody. Oh my God, it's going to be so weird. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll be documenting it and um, I haven't done a travel vlog in forever. I think the last travel vlog I did was the US Virgin Islands. Yeah, it's going to be amazing and I'll, uh, I'll show you what it's like. Anyway, I'm going to end the video there, just a quickie. Um, and I'll, uh, I'll give you some more updates coming soon. We're flying out in about seven days as of when this video goes out. I think it's even less than that, actually, maybe six days. So check out my Instagram for my stories on what's going on. If you're interested, of course, I would be if I was you. And uh, if you haven't already, slap the like button, tickle the subscribe. Come with me, mate. I'm freaking going home. Six years, mate. I'll see you later. Behave yourself.